What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DIY Carter coming back to y'all with another video. Again, I say this every video. Shout out to everybody that has liked the videos, commented on the videos, and subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate all y'all. And if you're new to the channel, I do do reviews on UA shoes that I get from the Cross of Water, and I show y'all how similar, how identical they look to the shoes that you can buy out of those stores right here in the states and the shoe that we have today came from a new person a new vendor so shout out to them for reaching out and wanting me to help review their shoes help get their product out there the shoes are amazing y'all will see that in the video but this shoe came from the good people over at gym kicks that are you that is their information it will be in the description below in case y'all want to check them out and see what other shoes they have available to you but the shoes that we have today they do release november 9th in case you want to wait and not want to buy uas it may not be your be your style but i know there is a lot of people out there that don't want to spend retail resale or a high amount on these shoes so this video is for you <sighs> keep in mind this is my opinion only i'm merely teaching myself and teaching all at the same time on these type of shoes that we can get our hands on so we're gonna hop right into it the shoe that we have today like i said it comes out on november 9th and it is the air jordan 4 ear these did release back in 2013 and they look pretty identical to that pair only difference is the height is different i do not have that shoe to compare it to don't have them anymore but they were not if i'm not mistaken they were not called the fears back then i could be wrong i, I don't remember but i know they had an oreo pair come out that looks pretty similar to this too. But starting at the bottom, you see the black with the white, the white jump man in the middle. The border is gonna be an all white. You got all your stars right there with that black at the forefoot. Moving up to the midsole, it does go into a light gray at the front probably see it better on this side but it goes to a light gray then you got the speckled splattered however you want us to call it black with white splatter paint this is a lighter gray and it goes to darker black at the back the upper is fully new buck you got the light gray dark gray then it goes to black at the top clean super super clean there's no glue lines and you know you would notice going from that midsole to the upper which is dark the netting is apparently from what i've seen these are compared to the sb4s so the netting is smaller Man, I wish I had that 2013 pair so you can see how the netting is different on this one. But got the white eyelids, black laces, got the jump man in black with the white background on the tongue. Tongue is per pretty thin. It's not too fat, it's actually good. Then you got the air joining right there. You know it's always backwards. Got the insole already out, just so y'all can see that. It is my favorite insole. Got the Jordan logo on the back, but my favorite insole, Dream Cell, the most comfortable insole you could have in any freaking shoe, y'all. Leave that out. But I know y'all probably already saw it, but that air unit is red. And as you can see, it only has two posts for my size, which is a size 10. If it has more than two posts, it is not correct. Only 12 and up should have three 
posts. So if you see two posts on 12 and up, it's not right. If you see three posts on anything below 12, it is not right. This is correct. So they got that correct. Only see two posts for a size 10. Bring in the other one for comparison. <laughs> Same thing, splattered. It is like that faded gray to black. Just like on the other one, faded the light gray going to black. You got the three different colors, the light gray, dark gray, or charcoal, however you want to say it, to black. Pretty clean shoe from Gym Kicks. Let me know what y'all think about these in the comments. They do fit true to size. Make sure I say that, because I do have people always ask that. They do fit true to size. I'm a true size 10, so you can get your size. With no issues, they fit perfectly. Let me show you the box before we get out of here. This is the paper. It says I'm scared of what I won't become and you're scared of what I could become. Hence, fear fours. Put that fear in them. Same thing on the top of the box. Put the Air Jordan logo. This is my size, size 10. And that's pretty much what came in the box is the paper. I think they got a little hang tag. But that is it, y'all. These are cool. I love these. I love the colorway. Again, it reminds me of the Oreos, but they're not exactly the Oreos. They came out years ago. If you like these again, check out Gym Kicks. The information is in the description below. Everything you need is there. And let me know what y'all think about these. Are y'all waiting until November to cop or are you copping them early from them? Let me know in the comments below. This is your boy DIY Kari. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Oh, stay tuned for that giveaway. 4,500 people. That's when I'm dropping it. Peace out.